I can swap my model by raising my pinkies. Let me show you how. Live 2D just got webcam hand tracking and it works amazingly. This is gonna change Live 2D in ways that we've never seen before. So what exactly are we talking about? The latest VTube Studio added hand tracking and hand gestures. That's right, you can now activate hotkeys with your hands. No longer do you need a stream deck or pressing multiple buttons on a keyboard to trigger any hotkeys. You can just hold up your pinkies to swap models and then hold up three fingers to send to that model. I don't know if I'll ever touch a keyboard again. The best part, all of this is just with a webcam. That means you can track your face, hands, and hotkeys with just a webcam. Now, before we hop into how to set this up and everything you can do, I do need to mention your hands won't start magically moving. They have to be specially rigged for movement by your modeler. Here's the list of parameters they'll need. If it seems like gibberish to you, don't worry, it'll make sense to them. I also just wanna say that if you haven't swapped over to VTube Studio, I don't know what you're doing because if this is any indication of how they're going forward, this program will smash all the competition. Also like and comment, it helps me out way more than you know. All right, let's dive into this. Now, as of right now, you do need the beta version of VTube Studio to access this and it is only on PC, not Mac. If you already know how to access the beta version, you can skip ahead to this point in the video, but if you don't, here's how. First, you'll navigate to VTube Studio on your Steam page. Then you'll click Manage, then Properties, go to Betas, enter the code PainPeco1234, and then click on the VTube Studio Beta. After it updates, you're good to go. So now that we have the beta all set up, to find the settings for hand tracking, they're actually in the same place as your regular webcam settings. But now in the tracking type, you can select only face, only hand, or both face and hand tracking. So yes, you can use a webcam for everything. Or if you still enjoy the advanced facial tracking of an iPhone, you can use it in conjunction with a webcam to get your hand gestures. With that enabled, you can now go to the hotkey section and there's a new gesture trigger underneath the key combination section. When selected, it brings up a window of all the available gestures. There are currently 14. They can be toggled to use one hand, both, or either, which means we have tons of options to pick from. Down below, we see a few settings as well as a window that shows your hands when the webcam detects them. Pretty useful for checking how things will react before you set up all your hotkeys. In the settings section, the seconds until detection increases the amount of time it takes for a gesture to activate and deactivate, so keep that in mind. Allow mirror gesture allows the other hand to make that same gesture and have it activate. Finally, deactivate expression when gesture not detected turns it off when it can't see your hands anymore. For most people, you'll probably want this option on. To choose a hand gesture, you can click on left, right, or the plus sign. That will tie it to your left hand or right hand, but if you selected both, you'll see an and or option. Now you can choose to have it activate when either hand does the action or only trigger it when both do. So now that you've turned on everything, what can you do with this? Well, because this all ties back into hotkeys, it can do everything from the following list. Play animation, change idle animation, set expressions, move your model, change your background, reload your microphone, reload your model, calibrate your webcam, change models, take screenshots, and turn on the dynamic lighting filter. Wow, I actually said that all in one breath. Hmm. This really will change how you use the program. I've already set up a few gestures that I'm gonna use, all the time. With some of these gestures mimicking real life movement like an open hand, you can now wave at your viewers, literally. That's without even mentioning that we have real hand tracking. I wouldn't be surprised if this becomes a common addition to high-end models going forward because if you can track fingers with a webcam, we're practically pushing into 3D territory. Everyone should test this out. It's going to be so much fun. Artists especially, I see this being very useful for. Now you don't have to take your hands off the drawing pad to push a button. You can just make a peace sign at the camera and have hard eyes. We're gonna continue to see Live 2D reach new limits and I'm so excited. Now, if you need help setting up the basics for VTube Studio, I recommend this video and I'll see you all next time.